five fragrances to wear in the summer evening. We can be a bit more free in the summer evenings. We don't have to wear just citrusy light fragrances. We can even wear fragrances that would normally be considered winter or cold weather fragrances. So in at number five, a new release from Ralph Lauren. This is Polo Red Parfum. I remember trying this a few weeks ago in a fragrance store and I really enjoyed it. I loved the opening. The opening is beautiful. It's citruses and blood orange. It almost smells to me like red fruits. That's the, the kind of vibe I get, which makes sense as it's a polo red. I get red fruits and then you get lots of lavender and absinthe. Absinthe is a really interesting note. Not many fragrances use the note of absinthe. Might make this a bit tangy, but certainly gives it a lot of character. And then you've also got spices and amber as well. This is quite ambery. And this follows the trend of a lot of designer fragrances that have been released over the past few months. It's sweet, spicy, ambery, and predominantly gonna be a cold weather fragrance, but I think this is gonna work really well in the summer and I'll certainly be wearing it. So number five, Polo Red Parfum. Number four, another new release, a brand new release. This time we have Jean Paul Gaultier Elixir. So this is a beautiful fragrance. Really happy to add this in my collection. Reminds me quite a bit of Le Mal Le Parfum, which came out a couple of years ago, which I really like. It's a, predominantly for me, it's a date night fragrance. One of my favorite date night fragrances. This has similar notes. This has mint and lavender in the opening. A lot of mint, especially when you spray it on a test strip. The mint really shines off the test strip. And that those two notes, mint and lavender, is what is, what is gonna allow you to wear this in the summer. It gives it this energy and almost makes this very refreshing fragrance. And then as it dries down, you have vanilla, you have tobacco, honey, you get those sweeter, more complex notes come through. But make no mistake, just because it has some sweet notes and some tobacco, you could still wear this in the summer evening. I think it's gonna work great. I'm certainly gonna wear this in the summer evening. And I wore this about two or three nights ago and I kept, I only wore it on my hand just to test it as I do for this job and I kept smelling it projecting off my hand. So projection is no issue and I think if you go to a summer evening party, you're gonna really stand out wearing this. So this is the new Jean Paul Gaultier Elixir and it worked great for the summer. Pineapple, ginger, coconut, tonka bean are gonna be in this next fragrance and we're sticking with Jean Paul Gaultier for number three. This is Le Beau. Le Parfum. This is a bit more sweeter, a bit more smoother actually than the original Le Beau EDT, which is also a great fragrance. But that's more for, I would say, spring, summer, daytime. This is more for your nighttime. And you could also wear this in the colder months. But let's stick to what we're talking about now, summer evenings. This is gonna work great. And for me, this is when you go on holiday, if you go on a summer vacation and you want something to wear in the evening, going out for dinner, going to a party, doing anything you do when you're on summer vacation, this is gonna work perfectly. Because imagine you're in a tropical climate, a, a much warmer climate, and you're wearing something with coconut, pineapple in, and then it settles down to this beautiful, sweet amber, and tonka bean base. It's gonna smell brilliant. It's gonna really suit the occasion that you're in. So number three from Jean Paul Gaultier, Le Beau Le Parfum, would be absolutely perfect for summer evenings. Now we're moving on to the more expensive niche fragrances. This is one of the most classiest fragrances I've got, especially for a summery fragrance. This is Zerjoff 40 Knots. So again, this could be worn in the daytime in the summer, but it's quite heavy. It's very, very woody. It has got oceanic notes as well. You've got sea salt. So those two notes make you think of summer, make you think that it's gonna be a really easy to wear fragrance, but it's very, very woody. And that is gonna maybe be a bit off-putting when it's in the high high heat. So this does work, I think, perfectly for early spring. Also really well for summer evenings. And this is, for me, more of a dressed up fragrance. And the number one is also gonna be a dressed up fragrance as well. But this is not really a casual fragrance for me. If you're gonna go to a beach party, right, with, a, with shorts and a t-shirt, it might not be the best situation for this. Sure, you're gonna smell good. But this is more of a slightly dressed up fragrance. Maybe you're going to a more of a fancy formal party uh, with a, a white button down shirt, something like that. This is gonna work perfectly. The sea salt with the oceanic notes, with the heavy woody notes work really well and it's a very strong performer. Now my girlfriend rarely compliments me on my fragrances as much as I'd like her to but this one I wore it, she had no idea what I was wearing. I sat next to her um, and she said I smelled um, wonderful. She actually asked me what the perfume was so that really tells me a lot about how this is perceived. Great fragrance, Zerjoff 40 Knots for your formal summer evenings. Now the last one is one of the classiest fragrances I have in my collection. It's not just for summer evenings, can be worn to any formal, sophisticated, classy situation. For summer evenings, it works perfectly because of the blend of notes. This is Grizz Chanel 
X-Straight. I think this X-Straight version is much better than the EDP. I actually prefer this a lot. I think it's got a bit more sweetness and spiciness and it works more for a nighttime fragrance. So this in the opening is Spicy Fig. Fig is a very interesting note and not one you would have probably experienced very often. It's got cardamom and fig in the opening. So it's quite fruity and spicy. And then you have iris and Madagascan vanilla. The Madagascan vanilla, of course, is gonna give it this beautiful sweetness, which blends really well with that fig and the cardamom. What iris does, it makes a fragrance smell very formal, at least to me, and that's how this smells. This smells very formal. I would never wear this casually. The 40 knots we looked at a minute ago, I said that it would suit a formal summer evening situation, but you could also probably get away with wearing it casually as well. This one, I just don't see it as a casual fragrance. I see this as a dressed up fragrance, and if you're gonna wear it, wear it summer evenings, it's gonna have to be, for me, a, a more of a formal summer evening party, maybe somewhere fancy, and if you wear this, I promise you, you're going to smell like the best smelling person there and heads will turn and people will ask you what you're wearing when you wear Grease Chanel X-Straight. Beautiful fragrance and, and it's one of those fragrances to wear when you just want something extra special to really go with your outfit. What Grease Chanel X-Straight does for me is gives me confidence, which is really important, especially when we're going somewhere full of people, going to a social event. We want the added confidence when we go into these events. So Grease Chanel X-Straight one of the best fragrances you could wear in the summer evenings. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite summer evening fragrances.